All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'll start saying all praise and glory due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rukar Kadash. Uh, double honors to our apostle, Elders, Great Most on Peace, and Mercy, Men, to the Lord's elect out there. Let's teach them, teaching the word and truth, sincerity, and making their bodies a living sacrifice. And, um, you know, holding it down for our Lord and Savior. All right, um, to you, I say Shalom. And, um, real quick, I'll just gonna grab the uh, exit, the fifth chapter. And I'm going to kind of just read through it and hit some key points. And, um, you know, Lord willing, this be edifying. But I was just reading through this, um, you know, this chapter. And, um, you know, it just it shows you, man, that this is um, modern day Egypt. Um, and also, you know, Rome 2.0. And, um, you know, also Sodom and Gomorrah as well, spiritually. You know what I mean? Because it all... Embodies uh, pretty much the same, um, you know, um, traits of these previous empires. All right, rather it be from their gods or rather it be, um, you know, from um, the way uh, our lifestyle was when we was there or whatever. But um, without further ado, I'll just get into it. This is Exodus chapter five, verse one. And afterward, Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, "Thus saith the Lord." Uh, yeah, thus saith Yahweh, power of Israel. It says, um, "Let my people go, that they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness." Verse two. And Pharaoh said, "Who is Yahweh, uh, that I should obey his voice?" And when you see uh, "Lord" in all caps, it means um, that's that's actually the Most High's name. Because sometimes you see the word "Lord," you know, it might be a double, it might be a, a capital L, and the rest of the letters are lowercase. You know. That, that more than likely that's not Yahweh's name. All right, that's that's not the name. Like when you when you look up the uh, on the blue letter or the etymana that that um, that word Lord, because you have a regular man could be called Lord. Or sometimes when uh, our forefathers encountered uh, angels, they would they would they would, uh, address them as Lord. All right, or like your woman. All right, uh, she 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 would call you Lord. All right, but when you see Lord, like I said in all caps, like as you see here in verse two. That's talking about the name of the Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh, which means He is, He exists, or He to be. Uh, so this is back in uh, Exodus chapter two, verse. I mean Exodus chapter five, verse two. And Pharaoh said, "Who is the, who is the who is Yahweh that I should obey His voice to let Israel go? I know not Yahweh, neither will I let Israel go." Verse three, and they said, uh, "The power of the Hebrews have have met with us. Let us go. We pray thee." Three days journey into the desert and sacrifice unto the, unto Yahweh our God. That says, at least he fall upon us with pestilence or with sword. And the king of Egypt said unto them, Where, Wherefore do ye, Moses and Aaron, let the people uh, from their works go? It says, Get you unto your burdens. <laughs> oh, man. It's verse 5. It says, And Pharaoh said, Behold, the people of the land are now many, and ye make them rest from their burdens. And Pharaoh commanded the same day the taskmasters of the people and their officers, saying, Ye shall no more give the people a straw to make brick, as heretofore. It says, Let them go and gather straw for themselves. Yeah, because um, when you do the history, man, um, pretty much uh, these pharaohs, all right, like when you read about Ramses, you know what I'm saying, the first and then, you know, the second, and, um, um, you know, all these other pharaohs, all right, they were, um, they were erecting a lot of, um, pyramids, all right, uh, you know, even when you read the first chapter, all right, that, that, they show you who made the pyramids, all right, and they said we, we did it, matter of fact, I'll just get it, man, let me get it, this is, um, this is Exodus chapter, uh, one, Verse 11, it says, therefore, they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens, and they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, Pithom and Ramses, all right? And when you look up uh, Pithom and Ramses, all right, it, it, a lot of, uh, it, it usually goes, there's two separate cities, but usually it just goes by a, a, a Piramses, a Piramses, all right? It says, um, and it was like, like I said, there was a lot of uh, uh, pyramids and things like that being built. All right. You know what I mean? Certain, um, you know, memorials and stuff like that. 
being built for uh, uh, Ramses the second, and then next uh, this chapter, when it says, and and now therefore arose arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. Now we do to do the research that had to be Ramses the second. All right. Now it says, uh, cause he had him, he had our our people, the Israelites build, the, uh, you know, you know, uh, in these cities. All right. Verse two, 12, it says, But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew, and they were grieved because of the children of Israel. And the Jesus made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. It says, And made their lives bitter with hard bondage and mortar, and in brick, and, and in all manner of service in the field. All their service wherein they made them serve was with vig rigor. All right? And that's that's just, um, you know, uh, you know, going to what I was talking about, how, you know, uh, we, you know, Pharaoh already had us, uh, you know, making these, um, you know, these treasure cities, like the scriptures said, and these men of these pyramids and stuff like that. But that's the reason why they was gathering uh, the straw and the brick and stuff like that. So right here, um, you know, Pharaoh commanded that the taskmasters to, um, uh, uh, to, um, to not supply uh, our, the, you know, the Hebrews, the Israelites, our people with um with straw all right so they had to pretty much find their own and then still fulfill uh you know the the daily tasks that pharaoh and the taskmaster had had uh, our people doing and that just goes to show you man you know <laughs> nothing has changed man all right? because you know you work nowadays esau wants you to you know break your back and you know do all the hard labor which it wasn't obviously not to that degree but still, you know, man, it is some tough jobs. Our brothers be working to where um, Esau, you know, he he places upon you um, pretty much a, a work overload, all right, and he don't give a damn about how you, you know, how you might feel or you know illnesses and stuff like that. He just cares about um, you know, fulfilling his 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 belly, so to speak. But this is Exodus chapter 5, verse 7. It says, Ye shall no more give the people straw to make brick as heretofore. Let them go and gather straw for themselves. And the tale of the bricks which they did make uh, heretofore, ye shall lay upon them. Ye shall not diminish aught thereof. It says, For they be idle. It says, Therefore they cry, saying, Let us go and sacrifice to our God. It says, uh, Let there be more, let there let their more work be laid upon the men that they may labor therein, and let them not regard vain words, man. It says, And the taskmasters of the people went out and their officers, and they spake to the people, saying, Thus said Pharaoh, I will not give you straw. Go ye, get you straw where ye can find it, yet not aught of your work shall be diminished. So here it is, man. When um, the taskmasters uh, stop supplying, uh, you know, the Hebrews, with um you know with the straw to, and, and you know to make the brick and all that they they still wanted them to go find their own straw materials building materials for the bricks and stuff like that and then still you know um fulfill the daily uh, quota or requirements of their their you know their normal tasks when they weren't building all right like I said just adding work upon work man it's the same thing here in uh, Babylon the Great all right you know mo majority of people are, are uh, are suffering from uh, sleep deprivation and they just um you know um you know uh you know not getting the necessary um you know sleep or rest that they should and they just overworked and uh, and underpaid as they say all right and you can thank uh the elites who have adopted this same uh system if you will you know what I mean just overworked the shit out of people and uh you know not care for their well being all right. This is verse 11. It says, Go ye, get you straw where you can find it, yet not all of your work shall be diminished. See? You know what I mean? They didn't care. They said, Go get go get you straw, find them building materials, and you're still going to be, you're still going to uh, need to fulfill your daily uh, quota, your daily tasks. This is verse 12. So the people were scattered abroad throughout all the land of Egypt to gather stubble instead of straw. And the taskmasters hasted them, saying, "Fulfill your works, which is your daily task, as when ye, as as when there was straw." And the officers of the children of Israel, which Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them, were beaten and demanded, "Us uh, as wherefore have ye not fulfilled your task in making both brick, and making brick, uh, both yesterday and today?" 
as heretofore and and this is mainly what i'm centering uh, the video around it's just this is the reason why we have to get out of here because just like during egypt during this time all right which thousands of years ago our people was being bombarded with um which is like i said a, 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 a work overload all right and just being worked like a dog like a like there's a saying in the world you working me like a hebrew slave well that, that's that's true for us that who are israelites because you know you saw we are literal uh, hebrew slaves you know esau is literally working us to the bone all right you got people dying from uh you know on job sites and stuff like that man this is verse 15 it says then the officers of the children of israel came and cried unto pharaoh saying wherefore did thou thus uh, with thy servants there is no straw given unto thy servants and they say to us make brick and behold thy servants are beaten but the fault is thine own people <laughs> and that's jake for you man jake just making sense of 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 of, uh, of the matter all right here it is you know pharaoh and these uh the taskmasters these egyptians wanted jake to um you know uh pretty much go find their own straw and all that and, and, and fulfill these tasks and stuff like that but jake was just pretty much like look man it's y'all fault man all right if you want us to build this and 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 uh, fill this task just supplies with the material and the, and the necessary um you know uh, uh things that we need man all right and we'll get it done and you can see jake does that to this day if jake's on a uh, job site jake will complain if if um you know, uh, if if the uh, the company is not being ran right, or they're not giving the uh, necessary uh, tools to do the job, and that's like I said, Jake just making sense of of, of, the, of the situation. Uh, this is verse seventeen, but he said, "Ye are idle, ye are idle. Therefore, ye say, let us go and do sacrifice to the Lord to Yahweh. Go therefore now and work, for there shall no straw be given you yet. Shall ye deliver the tale of the bricks?" It says, "An officers of the children of Israel did." Uh, see that they were evil uh, case see it said that it says like and the officers of the children of Israel did see that they were in evil case afterward it was said you shall not minish aught from your bricks of your daily task and they it says they met Moses and Aaron and stood in the way as they came uh, forth from Pharaoh so yeah um, and I just want to get these last few verses but yeah as you can see, man, Jake was catching hell. Like I said, that first chapter I read, it said uh, the Egyptians made them, made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. All right. So it was, like I said, man, you can imagine too, man, the sun beating, beating down on you, man. Just, you know, you constantly being, you know, worked day and night, man. You know what I'm saying? Around the clock. I'm pretty sure they only had like a, a brief uh, moment to rest, you know what I mean, or sleep. And then it's right back to it, man. All right. Just like now, you know what I'm saying? You get that, that weak ass 30 minute break <laughs> or that 15. Um, it's right back to work, man. All right. But that's also a curse. And uh, when you read the scriptures, the scriptures say about the sweat of thy brow. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's get these points real quick. This is uh last couple of scriptures. This is, uh, like I said, this is the reason why we have to get out of here because. Um, just like Egypt, you know, we was being worked day in, day out, and just like now here in Babylon, which is you know, aka America, we're being worked day and night, and we're not able to truly serve our power the way the Heavenly Father wants us, because we're constantly being distracted or bombarded with unnecessary tasks or uh, things pertaining to this, you know, this carnal, uh, vain life. Uh, this is uh, Exodus, Exodus chapter six, verse uh, five, and I and I have also, I said, and I have also heard the groaning of the children of Israel, whom the Egyptians kept in bondage, and I have rem remembered my covenant. It says, uh, wherefore I say unto the children of Israel, I am I am Yahweh, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the of the Egyptians, and I will rid you out of their bondage, and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm. And with great judgment, it says, and I will take you to me for a people, and I will be to you a God, and you shall know that I am, I am, I am Yahweh, your God. It says, we bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, man. Yeah, so, you know, that's what we're waiting on, man. We're waiting on the Lord to bring us up out of this modern day Egypt. 
uh, so we can serve the Lord in, uh, you know, truth and sincerity and, uh, you know, uh, and to serve him um, in uh, safety, all right, you know, because right now we can't do that. We're pretty much rehearsing the righteous acts and, uh, you know, everything we do on this side is um, it's temporary, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, we can't fully serve the Heavenly Father like we want to. We, we partially keeping, uh, you know, the scriptures due to the best of our abilities, due to our circumstances, which we're under. Because uh, Esau won't allow us to, um, you know, uh, do the necessary things to, to serve our, our, our Heavenly Father correctly as the way it should be written in the scriptures. But um, this is the last scripture, man. This is the book of... Uh, 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 Jeremiah 16 and 14 Therefore behold the days come saith the Lord That it shall no more be said the, I say Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel Out of the land of Egypt It says but the Lord But Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel From the land of the north Which is North America It says and from and from uh, certain parts of the, uh, Around the world And from all the lands Where the, he have driven them See that's what it's going into It says uh, and I will bring so it says from from so from the land of the north is talking about Babylon the Great, which is America, and from all and from all the lands where that he have driven them, and that's talking about the places where we're scattered. All right, it says, and I will bring them again into their land. It says that I gave unto unto their fathers, man. So that's about to take place real soon, Lord willing, this later on this year. And with that, I'm gonna give all praise and glory due to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Karkadash. Uh, double honor to so our apostle, Israel's great millstone, peace and mercy be unto the Lord's elect.